days or the calendar days goes all the way up to the October 4th. Wow. So this would definitely take some time. Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Despite losing a member, Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Blogging is now part of curriculum at some private high schools. Stop workplace for each only profiling. Okay. Welcome. Yo, a cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Dot, dot, dot. Honey milk. Milk. Honey. And honey. Serve it up. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, Cobalt. Seems like there's a cat. Oh my god, she got in with me. Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Hey, barista. Yes, I love some milk. Holy! Where did the cat come from? It followed her. It followed Freya. You look like I just seen a ghost. No, I mean... Sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. I've been working since the last time I saw uh, Nikomimi transform. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't. I guess you don't have that many Nikomimi friends. I wouldn't say I have. You folks usually use your feeling form to commute. Da da da. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commute as a cat sounds more practical. They come in as a human, I mean, then commute in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyways, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? I am sorry, what kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No milk? No, milk and nothing else. Okay. I smoke for the lady with a pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown up who can take care of myself. Uh, you don't look like a grown-up. What? <laughs> I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I call too young. Well, I'm not as old lady like you for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Uh, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal, are you in danger? Dot dot dot, blink twice. Really? <laughs> With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you never see me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the 
rogue part. I don't see your order earning any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some, is this some kind of made cafe experiment or something? So what do you want to order? The usual, okay. Your espresso is ready. Mm. It's good as usual. Glad you like it. Wait, wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Lauren Sitka? The member of the Super Spouse who just graduated and started her solo career? Uh huh. You're not you're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. Dot dot dot. I'm serious. But you can see but you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this cop Free shop attracts so many weird people. Oh, wow. Well, well, while we do have a lot of usual customers, this is the first time we had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yes, achievement unlocked. <laughs> I like her. No, seriously, why are you here? Well, you know, the usual young folk problem. I had a fight with my father, and so here I am. Ah, I see. But it's okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late. You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Dot, dot, dot. Now I'm really worried. Anyways, what happened? My dad. We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He's always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What's her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. Your dad knows everything about the entertainment industry. He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a, th a thing or two. Good evening, Cobalt Fox. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just joking, Freya. Anyways, Cobalt. Yes, officer. I need something for my sore throat. Can, you, can I bother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Green tea, he said? Green tea. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Cough syrup. Your special drink is ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, cough syrup? Of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells.
Damn. Damn. This is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the original on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me. Tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was... My salary. Seriously? Yeah, today is payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that, uh, other than that and the labor union protest, everything is fine though. How could you say it's fine? We all got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? The girl on the right, the first one. Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh huh. Who the hell was that? Who the hell is that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyways, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. This place looks cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? Huh? How did you know? You can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have a... When you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He's a cop. This is exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here makes me feel safer. Makes me feel much safer already. You knew it yourself, Freya. You know what you're saying. This place is very safe. Right, Officer jo Georgie? Of course. This is a safe place around here. Hey, that endorsement deal comes with a discount, right? What? Don't look at me like that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I don't deal with crimes and public safety. Should handle someone. I know I, how to handle someone's daughter. Someone else's daughter. Let me check. I'm fine with sex. Oh, right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She's good. She has good hearing. That should help. That should help her protect herself. Anyways, Miss. Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. 
Huh? Because when time, because when things have calmed down, I learned something about them. And they learned something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things un, as long as we don't leave things unresolved, a argument makes things better. Good point. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before, before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happened after each fight? Mm, nothing. We just don't talk about it until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy, but you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone, even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the one, she's the only one who understood me. And she's also understood your father. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe he, maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mentor between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Dot, dot, dot. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot, but why did you r run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait, maybe because I'm the one who always ran away. Usually my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. Dot dot dot. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you in a good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did that happen? To be honest, I don't even... I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even further. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say, I'm an adult. I know one person. Just give yourself, just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel, and try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to resolve this, like adults. You don't need to rush to, you don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now, now I recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least you know you're safe at a home. We'll give you him. Let me say that again. At least you know. At least knowing you're safe at home. Will give them some peace. They will always, sorry, they will they will allow him to think more clearly about everything. Dot dot dot. You're right. Dot dot dot. You're right. You really are, a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Noke Town. Oh. That's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Dot, dot, dot. Old man. 
<laughs> of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Cobalt Fox. And Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Cobalt. <sighs> and there they went. Yes. And you can stay longer if you want. That's fine. I have to call it a day. He gave you a ride home. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I could keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publisher's office. A uh, publisher's offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, you're right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go we'll take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. But I'm not, ex I'm not exactly your employee of the month. You never know. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So, yeah. I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home.